masters, collectors, and creators. Today you will be experiencing the creation of the air elemental. Here we see it being formed. At this point you want to create the general shape of your monster. Pull, expand, and draw on the main forms. As you can see, there is no particular order here. It's all created from it's all created within chaos and order and balance. As we continue creating this, we can see the human shape starting to evolve within the creation. The puffs of air are apparent and the flow of the wind. Now we are working on the chest and the back. As you can see, this is a rather large representation of the air elemental. Here you see the hand starting to be formed. You can see that the general shape is of a tornado or a whirlwind, a rather large structure. You can imagine between 10 to 20,000 feet. Now the hand is being created to a more understandable shape. Above you can see the swirl being created that will blend in with the clouds and the sky above. This is somewhat of a challenge to create when working on a 3D structure like this. Above the swirls go in a circular motion where they swirl down into the funnel shape that creates the air elemental below. Remember when creating your own elementals, if you are a monster master, remember to keep in mind where is it coming from? What is its general size? What is it here for? Why did it manifest? As you can see, this force is quite destructive, as you will see soon below. Here I'm working the clouds forming them, forming the funnel clouds, making sure they're not too small and not too big. You can see they circle the way down. Now you can see I'm adding the base for the display. Below you can see puffs of air starting to appear as the dirt and the land is lifted into clouds. You might also find that the clouds themselves form into images and shapes that you may find familiar. After all, the air Elemental controls all. Now I'm detailing my way from bottom up, adding the gusts and swirls and little paths of wind going up, making the way up toward the face and the clouds, the funnel clouds above. Notice when creating such a structure, it is humanoid. That does not mean it's human. It doesn't have to be humanoid. In this case, this air elemental took upon a form that is more humanoid. So it has some 
ideas, appearances of a chest, abdominal muscles, biceps, such features that are very human in structure. Wind is a very complex subject to work with. It can be very simple or very complex, just as you wish and just as your monster wishes. So, when working here, you see many crevices, many bulges, many pits forming and changing as wind is forever changing, as is all, is it not? Here we detail the face a bit, working the swirls, creating the eyes out of the swirls, the nose, the mouth, the chin. Now in this phase, we're working the top of the head, another swirl, swirls of wind creating everything. Eyes going deep. For it is understandable, that the air elemental does not need those eyes. It sees wherever it is present. The eyes and the mouth are simply a representation or an addition to its purpose, its mechanism. Below we see the destructive winds forming and pushing out powerful gusts of air just like as in an explosion. As in many sculptures, one may work in one area and move on to the next as they see fit or simply work where they see more attractive in their mindset at the moment. In this sculpt, in this creation, they are both. I've been working in areas which I simply wanted to work in and jumped from this to another area and as well as you see working my way upward detailing everything in a more organized way so both chaotic and order filled sculpting here I'm working on the powerful gust of wind that the air elemental is blowing onto the building the building you just saw The building below is to be a simple small cottage or a sort of storage place considering the lack of windows it has in the back. To increase the intensity of such a gust as this one, you have to be sure to add many smaller waves and paths of wind and then include the puffs all about as the wind breaks and rebuilds and pushes through and hits and collides. very explosive in nature at the moment.
as you see at this point the main foundation is pretty much finished there is the small cottage Now we're working on another building. This is sort of a lighthouse, a taller structure. A viewpoint, as it may be, for those tiny little humans below. Just compare, look, just observe the comparison of that building to that brutal force of nature. Now we're going to work on detailing the bottom, the base, the land. The land is full of rocks, grasses, weeds, bushes, trees and even a forest. Everything must go into consideration when creating such detail. What will be visible on final production, on final creation? How much detail can be put in? What sort of detail may be left out? Now we can see as the clouds come to life, the clouds of air below they are all part of the same force, the air elemental's force, creating various shapes, images, faces. See how many you can spot before you realize the air elemental may just be watching you. Here we're working on a forest. They will soon be most likely blown out of sight. Detailing the trunks, some of the bark structures, and the roots. What sort of creatures do you picture in this forest? Elves? Imps? Goblins? Well, whatever you picture, it's not there anymore. Roughening up the bottom ground and adding rocks and stones. Now you can see I'm starting to weigh now you may see I'm starting to work my way up around the main swirls of the air that create the main portion of this beast. As I said, chaotic sculpting may ensue at any point. Now we're working through the clouds adding more swirls. Remember, this is not just a simple gust of wind formed into a humanoid shape. This is an air elemental. It's a boss with a consciousness. 
it can create whatever it wants from its form within the limits of its materials possibility considering this is air the limits are quite endless here you may see that the air elemental wants to represent itself in powerful class in elegant respectable majesty not a simple gust of wind that blows out the candle but a respectable force that can destroy an entire village what do you see there a drake a dragon what's the difference we're back to working on our gusts of wind and paths going upward toward the main funnel cloud from which this creation spawned. For the monster creators out there, always keep in mind where is your creation spawning from? How does it enter this reality? What is the story behind it? That will make your creations much more brilliant to the thoughtful eye. I suggest that all younger wizards do not approach such a project with arrogance or at all. If you want to work with the power of air elemental, try a little gust of wind leaving the breath of an ogre. That's a better start. This force may be too powerful for even seasoned wizards mages, conjurers, enchanters. Unless you're a simple illusionist, play with what you wish. Continuing the detailed swirls, working their ways up, creating something that is just as attractive from a distance as it is up close. Many have tried to gaze upon such air elementals closer and closer to see the details, the marvelous works within the winds. But they didn't live to tell the story. Some simple magicians encapsulate such images of air elementals and present them within stories to children in villages around, showing glimpses of something that most have never seen or could see without being blown. To bits. We're working on our chest area and our abdominal region.
this is a process that may take a very long time and it requires endless patience. Patience is truly the winner in such creations. Is an elemental ever completely finished? Is any artwork or creation ever truly finished? Is it, it is only a tiny representation of what perfection is. And perfection is ever changing. Therefore, in a still sculpt, not all, only a fraction may be represented to the eye. Detailing and smoothing the face here. As you can see, the shoulder structure is present, even the triceps. Clearly, the Ayala Elemental is making a statement, a statement against humanity or humanoid creatures, creating its form in such an expressive, powerful and brutal, yet elegant presence. Let's slowly finish up this creation by adding the last strings of air, detailing the roots of the trees below that are suffering upon their element from another element. Those are forces of nature at work, battling one another. Thank you for watching this creation. If you are a monster master, creator, wizard, mage, collector or tamer, please feel welcome to observe any of these creations. Farewell. And thank you for being a part of this great and wondrous experience.